Um, in 2012, the archaeologists at George Washington's Mount Vernon agreed to co-teach a high school senior level elective course on archaeology to a classroom in Ohio. The caveat is that we are located in Virginia. Um, so we had to embark on a new teaching method that would take place via video conferencing in the um, winter of 2013. It was a semester-long course taught primarily by their history teacher. We interacted with the students during six video sessions, focusing primarily on historical archaeology at George Washington's Mount Vernon. For four of the sessions, we prepared and provided the students with a lesson um, to complete one week prior to our scheduled video session. Oh, good, it worked. <laughs> We're very efficient at Mount Vernon. <laughs> um, so, apart from a meet and greet and like a wrap up lesson, the themes of these four lessons were primary documents to um, get students to think about the potential for archaeology to support or refute what is drawn or written. A lesson on vocabulary and tools. This included a short video on surveying with the Nikon Total Station. A lesson on STPs, which films a Mount Vernon archaeologist <laughs> digging an STP. Um, it also teaches about digging according to natural strata. And then perhaps the most challenging lesson was actually a video on TPQs. Um, so getting <laughs> students to think about um, using material culture to date, strata, or site. But what's really exciting with this class is that the students culminate their um, archaeology lessons with us with a two-day field trip to Mount Vernon for a hands-on experience with what we've been teaching them. So they help us with an ongoing survey of attractive land called the paddock, where sheep are currently kept, as you can see from the pictures. Um, they split to small groups and they open two foot by two foot test units and then you know, throughout the two days, we reiterate the lessons that we've taught via Skype. So these are the numerics for the results of teaching this class. Um, 60 students have taken the class, 50 have been able to come to Mount Vernon, and three actually have gone on to study archaeology in college, which is great. We'll start the 2015 semester this month. Um, this year, the students had to go through an application process to get to the class. And it, they not also now have an additional optional independent study that they can do if they want to delve further into archaeological research. Um, the benefits of teaching via electronic format are actually numerous. The instructors can teach from their own workspace. Um, the time commitment is compatible with a very busy work schedule. You have the initial workload of preparing the lessons, getting colleagues to agree to be filmed or being filmed yourself. <laughs> Um, but then you only have six 15 to 30 minute video sessions, um, so it works out really well. Um, and then in our case, the teacher played a really large role in guiding class behavior and preparing for the lesson. So this enabled us to teach archaeology without shouldering the entire workload necessary that comes with teaching a high school class. Um, so although this format is very specific to this high school, I think that um, it's very flexible and people could apply this at a, at a local level. So um, our department has a mission to educate to a broad audience about the archaeological significance about the Washington Plantation. So this let us um, reach a non-local audience who otherwise might not have had the experience um, and at a high school level been actually able to do hands-on archaeology. So thank you.